Mountains in Lowe. And so I moved to Shep and did Shep by in 10 in 2007. And um, we got to the point at about mid-term when we started this um, like business for economics or something like that. Um, they ended up asking me um, what I wanted to do when I finished school. And I didn't have a clue. I didn't really care because I thought I was later on too. <laughs> I had uh, plenty of time to think about that. And um, yeah, I didn't have a clue, but all the kids would say they wanted to do a trade and I'd get the teacher off their back. So eventually I said, I want to do a trade. I'll do. <laughs> like, just leave me alone. <laughs> and um, so it went, they kind of pushed me with that. And I said, all right, well, if everyone else is going to get a trade, I'll get a trade. Leave school at the tent stuff. Like, I don't need it you know, in school. And then um, my parents got word that they had to move to Queensland for my stepdad's work. Because mum got married again. And yeah, and they wanted to go to Queensland to work. And um, I had a choice to go with them or stay in Shep. And I was an idiot and decided to stay in Shep. And I was only 16. And through school, I finished school that year, but um, I had a new work experience. And I went to a panel shop because I wanted to be a panel beater. And I started doing that work experience. Like I did two weeks straight. And they really liked me, got really good reference. I loved it. I didn't, didn't care. Like, I had to sweep up, move to the bins, and take their shit. But it was all normal, I assume. And um, from there, we had to. They thought, all right, well, do you want to have part time work? And then we decided if we want to put you on as parents. I did that for about a month, and then they got word that the store had to shut down. Oh. And um, yeah, before any papers were signed, so I was left on last and nowhere to live, nothing like that, so I didn't have any work. And then um, one of my managers from Coles, he um, invited me to live with him, but it was only if I could get a full time contract with Coles. And I was under 16, so I was only getting like $8 an hour. And I was earning under $300 a week. And um, from that, I just had my own house, like my own space, didn't have rules. I started inviting my older friends around who were involved in drugs and drinking and partying, which I fell into pretty quickly. And because I didn't start work till 10, I didn't feel I had to go to bed early, so it'd usually be 5 o'clock bedtimes in the morning. And then go to work pretty sick the next day. Um, I didn't talk to my parents for about six months. First six months, sorry, I talked to mum. Oh, the deal was I could move out as long as I called her every Sunday. Because I worked from three, three till midnight on Sunday afternoon or midnight Sunday night or to nine o'clock Monday morning. But I always had to call mum Sunday, whether or not. And if I didn't, she'd crack the shit. But I'm not losing my phone and I didn't have a house phone, so there was nothing, I didn't know how to get in contact with her. And then I just forgot all about it and I started getting depression pretty bad and I went to the 